I recently had someone reach out to hire me how to create this design for a template that they were creating to sell. So the restriction was it couldn't use a lot of CSS and they needed this border with this block out text that kind of, you know, blocked out a section of the border. So I came up with a really creative solution that only uses a single line of CSS. So I'm excited to share it with you in this video. So in this section on my 7.1 site, I've already dragged out the image block and the text block and the button block, and I have them arranged, you know, how I want them in the section. And if I go down to mobile, you can see I have the image block and then the text block and then the button block. So a pretty standard layout here. And so now I'm ready to add my border and my text. So the way that you can easily add a border is to add a shape block to the section. And if you edit the shape block and click on the color, if you click on a palette color, it'll then bring up the transparency bar and you can just drag the color all the way down to be fully transparent. So now there's no background color. Then if you come down to stroke and hit the solid line, you can change the stroke color and the stroke thickness. So you can choose whatever value you want. I'm going to choose two pixels, which is the same as clicking small, and I'm going to leave my stroke color as is. So now I can just change the shape of this block here, and that's going to determine how wide and how tall my border is. So this is a really easy way to add a border to a section. So all that's left to do is just to add the text that kind of blocks out a portion of the border. And the way that I'm going to do that is just by adding a text block, and I'll drag it where I want it to be. And I'll write hello, and my heading three is my script font. And I also need this text to split the line. So instead of you know having a really small or really tall text block, I just want it to basically be you know one cell above and one cell below the line. And then we can click the vertical alignment and align it to the center. So now you can see my text kind of splits my border. So in order to block out the line behind it, you can highlight your text and then go to the text underline settings. And there's this one that has a background color. And if we change the color to be the same as the section background, it then looks like the text is kind of like blocking out the background color. And the cool thing is like, no matter where we place this text along the line, it's gonna automatically look like it's blocking it out. So um, depending on the layout that you have, you can just move around your text block all along the border and get the design that you want. Now, um, one thing to note is that if you have longer words, you wanna make sure that your text frame isn't too small because as I shrink down the browser here, you're gonna see that the text starts to wrap. So you wanna make sure that your text frame is really wide. That way your text has enough room to live along the border as the screen gets smaller. So now as I shrink this down, you can see even though the frame is shrinking because it's so much longer than the text, you don't get any text wrapping. So that's kind of a, a cool feature with this design. Just make sure the text box is really wide. Okay, so now that we have that done, for me, the border is a little bit close and I would like a little bit more space around the word. And that's where this one line of CSS comes in. So if I go to design and then custom CSS, I have this, uh, I'm targeting the text shape node, so that's the background color itself. And when it's set to the shape of marker, so that's that background style, I want to then scale it up on the x-axis, so horizontally, to be 1.2 times its normal size. So without it, it's, the line is very close to the text, and with it we get a little bit more padding on either side. So that is an optional line of CSS, but one that I like. And again, this transform is only going to apply with this one specific type of background underline setting. Um, if you go to any of the other underline settings, the CSS won't apply. Uh, you'll see that the line, um, let's see, if we do an underline and we change the color, you'll see that the underline like doesn't you know stick out super far. Uh, it's just, you know, the normal underline setting. But if we go to the text marker setting, now you can see how much farther it sticks out. So again, this is very intentional CSS that I've written to only affect that one type of text underline feature. And that's really it. So now we have a easily customizable border. We have easily customizable text. If I go down to mobile, we can adjust the mobile layout. So I do want my image to come first. 
and then we can have the border splitting the text. And I'll drag my text block in a little bit. And then I can drag my text block up. And I'm going to want to shrink it in by one column on either side just to have a little bit of space there. And now I can drag the button in, shrink it down a little bit, and then just make sure that this is only one row on the bottom. And so there we go. We can now get the image, we get the text in the border in a nice layout on mobile. And then here we have that same design on desktop. And again, it's super flexible, super customizable in terms of you know, adjusting the height and the width of everything. Um, just a really awesome and easy to achieve effect. And the great thing is it only takes one line of optional CSS just to create that little bit of extra padding. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If it was helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel for more Squarespace content like this. 10,000 subscribers is the dream. So if you think I've earned it, please think about it. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one.